Okay, so in this video we are going to talk about sketching of vectors. Okay, so I hope you managed to watch part three, where we talked about um, how to um, to know that the angle is supposed to be in the first quadrant, second quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. Okay, we also talked about um, how to um, dissolve vectors into x and y components, something like that. Now here we want to talk about the sketching. Okay, so sketching. If you have been given the vectors, let's say you have three vectors. Let's say you have vector A, which is uh, twenty meters at an angle of um, thirty degrees. Then you have vector B, which is uh, thirty meters at an angle of um, let's say two ten degrees. Then you have vector C, which is um, let's just say uh, thirty-five meters at an angle of um, at an angle of um, maybe three, or let's just say at an angle of um, two, let's say one fifteen degrees. Okay, cool. So now, how do we sketch these vectors? So it's very very simple. The first thing to do is uh, you need to come up with x y plane. Okay, so I'm going to come up with my x y plane here. So here is going to be my x y plane. It's either you can have a visible one or you can have a dotted one. So I'm going to have a visible one. I'm going to have just a small one. So I know that this is my north, this is my south, this is my east, this is my west. So the first vector. I'm going to assume that this is my origin, that is my starting point. So the first vector is supposed to start from there all the way to 30 degrees. So we know that 30 degrees is some is near east than north. So I'm going to put it here. Say so that is going to be is 20, so I can put just like this. So that is going to be now at the end there I'm going to put an L. So I'm going to say that that is my vector A, which is at 20 meters. Now from here all the way to there I know that I can even put the angle there that is 30 degrees. Now after this is our end point of vector A. Now from this end point I'm supposed to write another dotted form so I'm going to put another x y plane. So I can even put a dotted one it's okay. Another x y plane. So I know that this is my positive x axis. We know that vectors when we're measuring the angles they're all coming from positive x axis. Okay, now this is going to be my vector B. So vector B is two ten. So where is two ten? Is two ten in first quadrant? Is two ten in second quadrant? Is two ten in third quadrant or fourth quadrant? Okay, two ten is in third quadrant. So we know that this is our first quadrant, second, third, fourth, meaning that this two ten is in this quadrant. So I'm going to start from there. I'm going to say that from this line, I'm going to write. I'm going to have another line from there then it has to go in this direction. Okay, so that is 30 meters. So 30 meters is supposed to be a bit longer than, than vector A. So B is going to be a bit longer than vector A. Okay, then I'm going to say that this is going to be my end point of vector B. So I'm going to say this is my B. And it is um, 30 meters. Now what I'm going to do is, after reaching at the end point, I need to come up with another XY plane. Okay, so I know that this is going to be positive x, this is going to be positive y, this is negative x, this is negative y. Again, this is going to be my starting point of vector what is vector c. So vector c is going to start from there, it's 35 meters, so it's going to be a bit longer than, than vector, vector a and b. So it's going to start from here, from this line. Now, this 115, 115 is in th th uh, second quadrant. So it's going to be in this quadrant, but is it going to be near? Is it near? Uh, is one fifteen near north? This is our north. Okay, this is our north, and this is our uh, our south. This is our west. So is it near west or north? Okay, so how do you know that it's near? So this is one fifteen. We know that this part here is ninety. Meaning 115 is supposed to be, we know that from this line all the way to this line is 180. Meaning that 115 is near north. 
So I'm going to say that this is going to be it's going to start from there all the way until. So it's supposed to be longer than all the vectors. Okay, so I can put it here. So that is my end point of vector C, which is 35 meters. Now to find the resultant, the resultant is supposed to be the connection, the addition over from the first point of the first vector, this is the first point of the first vector, until the last point of the last vector. So that is going to be our resultant. So we can say that that is going to be our R. Now, it's either you can resolve this vector and find the magnitude and direction. Now, from this line here, you can see that this resultant, it is lying in second quadrant. This is the second quadrant. So even if you, you you resolve this vector into x and y component, you are going to discover that the magnitude of this vector is going to fall in second quadrant. Okay, so that is caching. Now let's have another example. Let's have let's have four different vectors. Let me just include another one. Let's say we have another vector d, which is um forty. Let's just put twenty five. Now let's put the, let's change the angles, the directions. So let's have this one is due. Let's say this is due, uh, due east. Then this is at an angle of uh, thirty degrees. Uh, let's say thirty five degrees. This is at an angle of um. We put uh, due south or due west okay it's due west then this is at an angle of 3 330 degrees let's now sketch these vectors so the first thing to do is um, we have to put um, we have to put the xy prime here so I'm going to have my xy prime here just a small one if you want so this is going to be my origin. I know that this is north, this is uh, east, this is uh, west, south, this is west. So it's supposed to start from the origin all the way to this point here. Now it's supposed to, to move 20 meters. So I'm going to say this is going to be my vector, my vector A. Okay. So it has ended there. So that is my A, which is uh, 20 meters. We know that when you say due east, the angle is zero, so it is in, in east side. Okay, now this is going to be my first point now for another vector, so I'm going to put an xy plane again here. So this vector, they're saying it, it, it is going 35 meters, or oh, 35, it's 35 meters at an angle of 35 degrees. So it has to start from this, this is going to be our origin. Now 35, is it near now north or, or east? It's near it's near east, so it's going to be, th this is supposed to be in this direction. So it's supposed to be a bit longer than vector A. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere there. So say this is 30. So we end there. That is going to be our vector B, which is 30 meters. So you can even indicate the angles if you want. You can say that from this point, you say this point here, you say this angle here is what? Is 35 degrees. Then we have reached now here. You make another xy prime. So we have been told that this vector is due east, due west. West, this is north, this is east, this is south, this is west. Meaning that this angle, this vector is lying in this direction. So it's 35. 35 is supposed to be a bit longer than B, so it's going to go there. Okay, we make it a bit longer. So we end there. Again, after reaching there, I make another xy plane because I have another vector. So I know that here I've made this one. This is also east. This is north. This is south. This is uh, this is west. This is three thirty. So where is three thirty? Three thirty is uh, in this line. It's supposed to be in this line, but it's going to be near. It's supposed to be near east than it than uh, south. Okay, so I'm going to start from here. So I'm going to start from there. Then I say this is 25. Although 25, uh, 25 is going to be just a bit longer than 20. 
okay so i can even finish it there so i say this is my my uh, b my c uh, it's my d sorry which is a uh, 25 okay then this angle from here all the way to this side is going to be 330 so to find the resultant resultant is the connection from the first point until the last what from this point first point to the last vector so this is going to be my resultant so if you happen to find this vector you resolve it into x and y component and find the resultant you are going to see that the answer which you are going to find the angle is going to fall in the fourth quadrant as you can see this is the one we are looking for so it's going to be in the fourth quadrant okay so this is how you do or this is how you can sketch vectors it's not complicated so you can just change some values there and then you try you, you try it out on how you can sketch it okay so now from here let's try to um, let's try to resolve this vector into x and y component and then let's find the resultant so from here how do we find the resultant so to find the resultant we are saying that this angle is supposed to be in fourth quadrant so let's see if it's going to fall in the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant okay so let's resolve it into x and y component let's start with um vector m so we know that we say dissolving a vector into x and y component we have to um, we get the vector we get the vector okay we get the vector then he, the, for example this is a so it's going to be a x is going to be equal to a cos theta so this is going to be a x it's going to be equal to a is 20 then due east the angle is 0 so it's going to be cos 0 so a x is going to be equal to cos uh, 20 cos 0 we are going to get um we're going to get a 20 okay so that is the x component let's let's have our y component so y component is going to be a sin theta so a y is going to be equal to our a is 20 sin 0 so sin 0 is going to be 0 0 times 20 we are going to get a 0 so i can just put it here to say we have our ax okay we have our um, ax as 20 ay 0 let's go to the next vector we have vector b this is all vector b into x and y component we want to find the resultant so it's going to be uh, b x is going to be equal to b sin b cos theta so it's going to be 30 cos 35 okay so let's see what we're going to get so 30 we have 30 then cos um, 30 cos 35 so it's 25.57 Okay, so I'm going to put it here. Bx is 24.57. So let's see our Bx. Or our, our By, sorry. So By is going to be B. We know that in Y in Y is going to be uh, B, which is 30. Sine 35. So we have uh, 30 sine sine 35. I'm getting 17.21 okay let's go to um, the next vector let's go to vector um, vector c so cx is going to be equal to the 35 because uh, due west is 180 the angle is 180 so this is going to give us a negative 35 so our b our cx is going to be equal to negative 35 then our cy is going to be equal to our cy is going to be cy it's going to be c is 35 and then sine 180 it's going to give us zero okay so from there then we go to d where we'll be able to, to talk about dx dx is going to be 25 cos 330 so dx is going to be 25 
cos um, cos 330 so i'm getting to 21.65 21.65 let's talk about dy so dy is going to be uh, 25 sine d y is going to be 25 sine 330 so 25 sine 330 i'm getting negative 12.5 okay now after getting these the x component we now get rid of this we no longer need this we want to find the resultant so we need first to find the x we need to add the x components alone the y components alone okay so we're going to say that the x component or the resultant is going to be it's going to be ax plus bx plus cx plus dx so our rx is going to be equal to our ax is um 20 our bx is 24.57 plus our cx is negative 35 plus our dy or our dx is um 21 21.65 so we can add these values and then we are going to see that we are going to have 20 plus 20 plus 24.57 57 24.57 plus it's going to be minus 35 plus 21.65 okay so i'm getting 31.22 31.22 is meters so we can get rid of this we can just put our resultant there on top let's just put it here our rx is 31.2 meters now let's find the y component of the resultant so it's going to be it's going to be the a y plus b y plus c y plus um d y so we plug in the values we can see that a y is uh, zero by is 17.21 plus cy is 0 plus negative 12.5 so our ry is going to be what our ry is going to be it's going to be what it's going to be um, 17.21 and then we have 17.21 plus open brackets negative 12.5 I'm getting 4.0 4.71 meters so to find the resultant to find the resultant is going to be the resultant is going to be equal to the square root of r x squared plus r y squared so we can now plug in the values let's just put our resultant here the y component which is 4.71 Okay, so we are going to have this. We are going to have um, we plug in the values. Okay, so it's going to be uh, thirty one point two two squared plus. 4.71 squared so our resultant is going to be 31.22 squared 
plus 4.71 squared. I get the square root. I'm getting 31.57. At 1.57 meters. That is the resultant. Now to find the angle, we know what to do. So I guess we have made a mistake somewhere because the other y was supposed to be negative. So that the answer, the answer was supposed to be in fourth quadrant. So anyway, it's okay. So let's just go ahead and find the angle. So it's going to be theta. It's going to be equal to tan inverse r y r x so you plug in the values and find the value of what the value of theta okay so that is it for sketching i hope you have enjoyed it